Hi everybody, this is John Lamazny, and tonight I'm going to show you how to take an average image and uh, use layer modes in order to make it rather angry. We're also going to play with color just a little bit. So um, I have already downloaded this photo. I get this photo from a morgue file, which means that it's essentially copyright free for me to use. And I'm going to import another uh, image as a layer. So I'm going to choose File, Open as Layers. And the image I'm going to bring in is going to be a texture. So I have my uh, textures folder. And what I'm looking for is essentially something with a lot of uh, roughness to it. So these are all relatively subtle textures, um, but I want to make sure that the one that I choose is um, rather rough, cracked. That's not bad. So let's try Cracked. I'm going to open that as a layer. I can see that it's very small. And it's also, as I, as I look a little bit uh, closer at it, it's not really appropriate for what I'm trying to do. So I'm just going to hide it for right now. I'm going to uh, right click again. And choose File, Open as Layers go back into my texture folder see that's really rough it's also rather small really small However, I'm going to just resize that layer. Um, to be that size. And the reason I chose this uh, texture is because, whoops. Try that again. I'm going to move my scale dialog out of the way. I'm going to take my texture and move it up to the corner. I'm going to take the other corner and pull it all the way down. You can see it's just some um, marred wood. I'm going to go ahead and click on scale, which now um, puts that scaling process into play. And you can see I still have my uh, the face in the background there. I'm going to use my move tool in order to move this layer just a little bit. So that it completely covers that face. At this point, I'm sure I'm not going to use that other layer for anything. I'm going to just delete that other layer. And in order to uh, create the effect I want, I'm going to change the layer mode from normal to, let's say, multiply. That's not quite right. I'll try screen. Try overlay. 
overlay does almost exactly what I want. I still don't know if it's the right texture, but it's really just about showing what you can do with this effect. Um, having somebody's face or some object and having another layer on top of it that you use a mode uh, for the layer allows you to have this subtle but um, I think really effective look to this to this face. The other thing that I want to do, I'm going to hide that top layer for right now. The other thing I want to do is I want to add some uh, color to this face. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to zoom in on this earring and uh, get rid of it. And the reason I'm going to get rid of it is because I don't think it's really appropriate if I'm trying to uh, convey anger. I, I, you know, the, something about that earring doesn't shout anger to me. As opposed to her face. Her face is actually quite angry. So I'm going to use the clone tool. And I am going to hold down my control button to grab a portion of the image. I'm sorry, let me just make sure. If you ever have trouble um, either erasing to transparency or doing something with the clone tool, chances are that your layer needs an alpha channel. Um, I won't go into great deal detail about why other than to say that an alpha channel is a transparent, transparent layer underneath the image um, that is combined in that combined in that uh, image. I'm also going to scale up my clone tool just a bit. I'm going to hold down control again. Strangely, it's not working. I'm not sure why. Pick the clone tool again. Mode is normal. Opacity is high. We'll do a larger scale. Choose a portion of my image with which to clone. That's better. Whoops. Went a little bit too far. I'm going to undo that. Went a little too far again. I'm actually going to re grab a sample from up here. So I'm not going to run into this problem. Maybe even up here. Very subtly just sort of pull through. Went a little too far again. And I'm not too concerned about how um, mismatched that is right here because I'm going to use my um, blur tool to just sort of work in some of these hard edges.
and if that's too subtle, I can use the smudge tool to do a little bit more intense of an effect. See how that nice um, soft edge emerges there. I can more or less just pull whatever color is under the blur tool at the time into the area. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out to 100%. Now zoom out to 50%, zoom out to 33%, and I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to uh, select a different tool just because, and go back into view and choose uh, zoom. fit image in window. There it is. So now her earring is gone and um, it's not distracting me so much from the idea that this, this woman is supposed to be sort of angry. So uh, the other thing that I want to do here is I want to use color and I'm going to colorize this image. And colorize brings up a dialogue where I can uh, change the hue. You can see in the background it's changing, becoming rather green. Now yellow. <clears throat> I'm going to jump to the other end of the spectrum. That's more red. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm going to push the saturation down just a bit. And that's going to allow more of the original image to pop through. And I'm going to push the lightness up just a bit. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to re-enable that other layer. And here's my finished image. If I wanted to um, have some sort of verbal reinforcement about what was the story here, if I wanted to tell why this woman was angry, I could put it here in this nice sort of area of white space over here. But I think that you would agree that this is a more interesting image than the image that we started with and pushes the idea a bit more of uh, anger than what we started with. So thanks so much. Hope this was helpful. Hope to see you again real soon. This is John Lamazdi for 365sketches.org.